Hello everyone, this is the Homesteading Holistic Homemaker here, Samantha, and sorry I'm crouching down, I'm trying to get you a view of my workstation. Um, this, not this weekend, the weekend after, I'm attending a uh, craft show bazaar type event, and I'm making Christmas ornaments uh, to sell, so I figured I would show you how I did that. So. Here's the video. Um, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see my workstation as I work. Um, here. there we go. Alright, so this is what we're making. It's a small gingerbread house ornament. Um, and how I do this is I flatten out my clay and I cut six pieces and I lift them up yes. for the sides and the roof and I just start fitting them together. I want to make a long house this time. I made a tall one last time. And so you just fit them together like this. You can see. It doesn't have to be perfect as you're fitting them together because you're going to cover up seams with different decorations. All right. So there we go. And you kind of smush the sides together on themselves so they stay. Um, and you straighten it up. Make it look pretty. All right. There are my walls. And my little gingerbread house. You see? Okay. Now I'm going to put the roof on it. There's the top of my roof. It's a little crooked. So what I used to cut this was a pizza cutter. Especially since I laid it out there on a cutting board and I rolled it out. It was a whole lot easier to cut it with a pizza cutter than some kind of knife. I could just roll it on there. Um, and so what else, what else, all I did is you find which sides are going to fit the best on. And I like to put them together first. Like that. Stick them together. And then I cut little triangles, which this might actually be too small. Too small. That's okay. Okay. I frequently like just make things work because I don't like to redo them. <laughs> so I'm going to stick those in there and see what I can do with the house to make them fit. Alright, so I'm sticking them in there. You see? There we go. And no house has to be, like I'm not making these um, the same every time. Well, my house can help with this today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to readjust it. Pull them apart. And re stick things together. One side is too big. See? I mean, I'm. It's kind of a feel thing. There's no definite um, measurement for these sides. I just stick them together um, and make it work. There we go. I tried to start out with pieces that are the same length and that sort of thing. And if that's not what I get, then I fix it. See if you can tell I'm just cutting off I don't know, maybe like a centimeter. Alright. There we go. And you want to make sure you squish them together really good. I didn't do that. Um, Alright, now my roof fits. 
stick the roof on. I like to pick it up and go from the inside. Stick it on there. And you want to stick it together pretty good because once this thing bakes in the oven and if it's not stuck together really well, then it's going to come apart um, after it dries and that's no fun. All right. I stuck my little house together. I have walls and a, and a roof, and the edges, as you can see, are a little bit rough. They have stuck together at, in odd places, but that's okay because we're getting ready to cover them up. All right, see, there's my little house so far. All right, so what I did, what I like to do, is I roll out a whole bunch of little white strips of um, clay and this is going to be used as our um, like icing is a good word and I just like to loop it on the top of the turn so you can tell what I'm doing see how I just loop it and stick it down again loop it stick it down and then loop it. These don't have to be perfect either because what gingerbread house is perfect? Um, there. Okay. Now that I've done that one, I come to this side, stick down the initial a little bit, and then loop it. Loop. Loop it. And my last little loop. I'm going to pull it out. See? See, that's what I'm going to do all the way around most of this. I'm just going to loop this so it looks like icing. And then it covers up those really rough edges. Um, and then what I like to do is make things that look like candy canes. Um, and so here's what I do. I roll out a thin bit of white clay and red clay and I roll them together. And when you roll them together, see how, see how it's kind of bubbly because I rolled them together? After you roll them together, you twist them together, I'm sorry, I like to roll it flat on my card surface with my finger to kind of push those two pieces together and it kind of smooths those two pieces of clay together so now I end up with a smooth piece of clay or ribbon of clay instead of the bumpy one um, and then next what I do is I make little Christmas trees and those are just little balls stacked on top of each other with a yellow one stacked on top and then I make wreaths like that, a bunch of little balls and a little round bit, and then I just kind of roll things together. Yeah, I rolled the candy canes and twisted them at the top to make a little door. And I put the Christmas trees on the side. The back's a little empty now. Um, so that's basically how I make my little gingerbread house. And then once it's all done, I take a toothpick. Anyway, um, I take a toothpick and just very gently push it through the top like that. You know, I just push it. I kind of rotate it back and forth between my thumb and pointer finger, and it makes a little hole. So then I can string ribbon through it um, to make it the actual ornament. And then I make a whole bunch of them, put them on a baking sheet, and. Um, bake them for as long as the package tells me to. And that's how I make little clay gingerbread houses. So I hope that was helpful um, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have about how I did this. Um, and oh, uh, let me tell you what kind of clay. I use these pulpy um, 
oven bake clay that you get at like hobby stores. Um, and you tell me using other things. But if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please let me know. And thanks for watching and stay classy.